Have you heard about the recipe called Bonda Soup? Well, it's quite popular in Bangalore these days. I tasted it for the very first time when I went to Bangalore in last June and instantly I fell in love with that recipe because it tasted utterly delicious. It is a combination of moong dal soup and bonda which is nothing but uddina vade which is shaped like the bonda more like laddu and it is very easy to put together so let's quickly learn how to make this very tasty bonda soup. So first you know down the ingredients to make moong dal soup I will later tell you the ingredients to make bonda as we continue. So we need about half a cup of moong dal, two roughly sliced shallots, one medium sized tomato, four to five green chilies, four to five cloves of garlic, two teaspoons of coriander powder, three tablespoons of fresh coconut, one fourth cup of roughly chopped coriander leaves. And I have taken about half an inch of ginger and I've cut them into juliennes, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, a sprig of curry leaves, three tablespoons of oil and salt as required. So first I'm going to dry roast the moong dal for about two to three minutes under medium flame and once you get the roasted aroma of the moong dal and when they turn slightly golden in color we'll remove it from the flame. Now we'll wash the moong dal for a couple of times to get rid of any dirt. Now once they are roasted, washed and cleaned, I am going to add the moong dal into the pressure cooker along with chopped tomatoes, slit green chilies, roughly chopped shallots, garlic cloves, coriander powder and some salt. Now in goes about 1 cup of water and we'll mix all these ingredients and we'll cook this until I get about 4 whistles. Basically I'm looking for my moong dal to become nice and mushy. Now this is the 4th whistle so off goes the flame and we'll let this rest until the pressure settles down. In the meantime let us quickly note down the ingredients to make bonda. So here I have taken half a cup of urad dal which was soaked in the water for about 5 hours. One roughly chopped onion. 1 4th cup of roughly chopped coriander leaves, 2 green chilies finely chopped, 1 teaspoon of crushed cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of crushed pepper, oil to fry and some salt. So here I am adding the soaked urad dal which is nothing but the de-skinned black ram into the blender along with some salt and we will blend this until smooth. I am adding very little water here, about 3 to 4 tablespoons. Now again, we will continue to blend this until it becomes nice and smooth paste. Now my urad dal paste looks perfect. Let's add the rest of the ingredients to it. Now when you see here, the batter looks pretty thick, right? Not runny at all. And it is exactly what I am looking for to make perfect bondas. So now in goes the other ingredients such as crushed cumin seeds, finely chopped green chilies, roughly chopped onion, crushed pepper and some coriander leaves. We'll mix this until all the ingredients are well incorporated. And for this bonda preparation, I'm not adding the baking soda because when you add baking soda to the bondas and when you add those bondas into the soup, it is quickly going to become soggy. So no baking soda for this bonda recipe. Now this bonda mixture is ready. So we'll keep this aside and let's check on the moong dal. Moong dal is also well cooked and mixing it well with a wooden spatula for all the ingredients to incorporate well. Now I'm going to transfer this dal into another pot only because you can see it better in this. And we'll add about a cup of water to bring it to the soupy consistency. And if you notice, right now it is very liquidy and soupy, which is perfect. Now I'm going to add the fresh coconut and coriander leaves. We'll mix it and bring the moong dal soup to boil. Meanwhile, into my heating pan, we'll add about 3 tablespoons of oil. Now the oil looks nice and hot. So in goes the mustard seeds, cumin seeds, ginger juliennes and curry leaves. Now this tempering is going straight into the soup. Now we'll close the lid back and we'll bring the soup to boil. After few minutes under medium flame, the soup is now boiling. 
So let me add some salt or just the seasoning and this is the consistency of the soup that you should look for. Now the soup is ready, let's make the bondas. Now the oil is going on medium heat here and let's take the temperature by dropping small amount of batter into the oil. Right now you can see here the bonda is taking some time to come up yet you can see the bubbles all around which means the oil is at the medium temperature. And if you want your bonda to cook from inside out the temperature of the oil has to be at medium. Now we'll dip my palm into the water so that the bonda batter won't stick to my hands and we'll take a lime sized batter and we'll form it into a round shape since they are bondas. Now we'll carefully drop the bondas one by one into the medium hot oil and we'll fry them until they turn to beautiful golden color. Basically the Urudal bondas will take a little longer than the gram flour bondas and I was able to make around 11 medium sized bondas using half cup of Urudal. You can always double the recipe by increasing the Urudal quantity and rest of the ingredients as well. Now that the bondas are ready, I will remove them onto the paper towel for the excess oil to absorb. And now I'm going to add about 2-3 to three ladle full of moong dal soup into the soup bowl and going to add few bondas. That's it. Now my bonda soup is all ready to dig in. I am sure anyone will fall in love with this recipe. So do try it out and let me know your feedback in the comment section below. And all the measurements are listed in my website at www.megascookingchannel.com so be sure to click on the link at the end of this recipe and please subscribe to my channel because your subscription will help me create more interesting videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week with yet another interesting video. Until then, bye-bye.